Uh, good day. Welcome to welcome to Basel World, and welcome to Speak Marin. Uh, my name is Peter Speak Marin. I'm the watchmaker behind the brand. Uh, everything that I'm going to show you, I've designed. These are unique creations, which are which is my life. The first piece I'd like to show you is a, a watch that I've named Renaissance. The reason for the name Renaissance is that it encompasses many elements of my work up until today, which I have been effective, which I have been working on during the past 10 years, and it marks a new period in the development of my original classic collection. The Renaissance wristwatch is a Torbian minute repeater. Each piece is hand engraved, and subsequently each piece is unique. The Torbian design is born of my very first watch, which was a pocket watch I named the Foundation Watch. The Foundation Watch was the catalyst for all of the pieces that I have made since the very beginning of my career as an independent watchmaker. The value is not necessarily in the fact that it's a Torbian, but it is in the value of the design, and that design has influenced all of my other watches subsequently. The Torbian leads, lends uh, a visual animation to the watch. The minute repeater is a complication that I have been working on for many years. In London in restoration, I restored many, and in Switzerland, I have also been involved in the development and the manufacture um, so they have been part of my horological life for the last 25 years. The dial is pierced out so that you can see all of the mechanism inside. All of the mechanism is all finished by hand, it's all assembled by hand. The, the additional advantage of having skeletonized the dial is that the sound of the watch becomes much clearer. There's no muffling and the sound can actually be communicated through the case far more clearly than if the dial had actually been solid. If I turn the watch over, on the back of the watch, <coughs> I have designed all of the bridges to cover the maximum surface possible so that on each watch we have a unique engraving. The theme sometimes can be the same, but the actual engraving in each situation is different. With this one, it's the original piece which has been photographed uh, around me and is of a dragon. The reason for the dragon is not necessarily because it's the year of the dragon, but I've been making dragon um, theme pieces now for about five years. I find the, the subject matter fascinating. I love the Asian culture. And there is a, a philosophical element with dragons which are immortal which associates with time which is never ending. So I've always been very drawn to that, uh, that aspect. The, the slider of the watch, which activates the repeater, is found here. We activate it, and then all of the mechanism can be viewed through the dial working. The case is made from uh, 18 karat red gold. It is water resistant. It is 44 millimeters in diameter and approximately 13 millimeters in, uh, in, in thickness. The front and back are sapphires which have a, an anti-reflective coating so that the visibility and the detail of the uh, movements can really be accentuated. I started the project about a year ago. Um, there are six pieces in the collection. Four are already commissioned and taken, and there are two pieces left which likely will be sold before the end of the fair. The, the value in this watch is not only in the complication for me, but it marks the beginning of the new classic collection. Following on from the Renaissance, we have the, the Serpent Canada. <laughs> In 2004, I designed a watch called the Serpent Calendar. The, it was a calendar mechanism with the calendar, which comes from the center of the watch, and there was a very large, long, serpentine hand, which then illustrated the time. This watch we sold through. We no longer have any of these examples left, but we've always had repeated demands to make the same watch again. Now, when redesigning and remaking it, I didn't want to use the exact same dial as before. There had to be an evolution. 
So with the new Southern calendar, the actual calendar hand has become shorter, which means the visibility, uh, readability of the dial becomes that much clearer. The date is on the inside instead of the outside, as was on the original pieces. The overall design of the watch has become much slimmer. The case is a three-piece case. The case being three-piece has technical advantages and it also means that we can actually mix materials within the case. This particular one is the uh, entry-level watch and is uh, entirely in steel. We also altered the movement. We've used a different caliber, which has been completely personalized to become Speed Marine. It's entirely finished by hand, uh, and I've named this new caliber Eros. The reason for the name Eros is associated to the roots of my, uh, my career, which was in Piccadilly. The case design is called the Piccadilly, as is engraved on the case back. And in the center of Piccadilly Circus, you have a statue of Eros. So there's a, a congruent, complete feeling in relation to the, the origins of the watch. The movement is hand finished. It is the rotor. It has my signature rotor. The color is blue, which associates to the blue steel hands on the front of the watch, and it has a five-day power reserve. Um, this will form the foundation of the new collection, and we released it two days ago, and the feedback has been fantastic. From everybody from retailers to distributors, journalists, and final consumers. Many of the first collectors to have seen the watch have actually commissioned pieces to be made straight away. So when I designed it, I had aspired that it would be a successful piece. But until we actually come to Baal and we get feedback from the final consumers, we never really know. So I'm both happy and relieved that it appears to be a success. <clears throat> One last watch to present to you today is a, is a unique piece. Amongst the collections of watches I make, I often get commissioned by people to make unique pieces. These can be Asiatic in design, they can be sometimes very Gothic. Uh, I've been asked to make a number of different pieces. Now, on the basis that I'm English, my style is English, we're in a very uh, special year for, the, uh, for England, uh, I wanted to make something which very much resonated that. I wanted to make a, uh, a watch with a dial which had the same, which was a Union Jack, but something which was elegant, masculine, used diamonds, because I, I have a certain fascination for the use of the material, and it brings a light to the dial, um, but was not kitsch. This is the, the result. It's a unique piece. There are in excess of 300 diamonds which are set by hand in the center of the watch. The case is made from 18 karat gold. The dial is 18 karat gold. The, the movement is my own in-house caliber, the SM2, which is entirely finished by hand. Um, and it's probably the most congruently English piece that I have actually ever made. Uh, and it's, um, out of everything that I've made, it's rapidly becoming one of my favorites. Thank you very much for having listened to my presentation. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the presentations given at Bar. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.